2020 gear bag wish list um so these are the kind of things that i'm hoping for um i might pick up i don't know some of these are a little expensive but i'm just gonna be breaking down what i might get but before it starts um i just want to say that my tw i do stream on twitch monday wednesdays fridays at eight o'clock pacific standard time um and uh i answer football questions i play with my viewers sometimes I play Call of Duty Warzone and Overwatch, um, and I know my comments are disabled on my YouTube channel right now because I am a minor. Something I'm trying to work through um, with YouTube, but I don't think I'm going to get my comments back, which is really frustrating because I get a lot of ideas about videos from you guys, and I get to interact with you guys. But if you guys want to ask me questions or anything, um, on my Twitch, I answer all those questions, and I love talking to you guys, so make sure you check it out. Um, but anyway... Today, we are doing my 2020 gear bag wish list. Um, so let's jump right in. The first thing that I want is the new Diamond Technology Speed Flex. Um, so this is my current Speed Flex. This thing is matte black. It looks super cool last year. Um, matte black with a nice duck on the side. I had an American flag on the back too. It looks super cool. Um, I love this helmet. Speedflex looks super cool. Um, Riddell has been great for me. I've been using their products for the past few years. Um, and they're super reliable. Uh, great technology. Um, just really great all around. So this is the old Speedflex. This is the 2018 Speedflex. They haven't really advanced it over, or done anything to improve it at all over the years. Um, so yeah, they have the ratchet lock system that's a little different. They have these flex on the front, um, but it isn't really practical. So they came out with the Diamond Technology, which is a liner on the inside of your helmet that absorbs the impact, um, kind of like how the Vice's helmet works, which it kind of flexes with the hit. Uh, I believe that's how it works. Um, so if you guys know what Vice's is, it's the, um, I'll put up a photo right now, uh, what a Vice's helmet looks like. You guys have probably seen it in the NFL. Um, a ton of NFL players use it because right as of right now, it is the safest helmet to use. Um, so a lot of NFL players use it, and um, it's just a top pick. And um, a lot of football helmet companies have been trying to work around that, kind of get the same technology because what people really care about right now is um, safety for their head. Um, so a lot of companies have been improving, like Shot came out with the Shot F7, which was, uh, like a panel on top. I did a review on that, like, nine or eight months ago, I have no idea, like, oh, maybe even a year ago. I did, like, a massive football gear unboxing, and I pulled out the, uh, Shot F7, and, um, yeah, it was, like, a super cool helmet. It was a little bit heavy, but it is, um... A very widespread helmet throughout the NFL it is like really safe when it comes to helmet technology and um, it's really great that uh, hel helmets are really becoming much safer these days um, it, it is pretty expensive though it's like 600 bucks so that's a little out of my budget right now but I do definitely want to pick up the new speed flex I think it's around $430 um, for the varsity helmet and then for the youth helmet it's a little bit cheaper. It's like three ninety or something. But for high school football, you need to pick up the varsity one. Um, it's regulation. It's league rules. Like widespread throughout the U.S. Um, so yeah. So I definitely want the new Speed Flex. That'd be super cool. This is the twenty eighteen. I've been using it for the past two years. Um, but I definitely want to pick that up. Okay. And the second thing that I am gonna want for twenty twenty is the Riddell Power JPK Plus SK shoulder pads. So this is a skill position shoulder pad from Riddell. Um, so this thing comes in a, uh, at $190 when I'm filming this right now. So these are the junior varsity ones. And hold on, let me just see right here. I'll be back one sec. Okay, yeah, so the difference between the helmets is about, or difference, sorry, difference between the shoulder pads is about $150. So if you pick up the um, Junior Varsity Shoulder Pad, you are pretty much saving $150. And this doesn't really seem there's that big of a difference. 
between the um, junior varsity and the varsity shoulder pads. Um, I'm going to be picking up the skill position one. Um, and I definitely want to get shoulder pads for high school football because public high schools do not give you the best gear. Um, my brother's shoulder pads were super old and gigantic and his back plate was held together by a shoelace last year. And um, definitely want to upgrade. I do not want to go in with a shoelace back, back plate next year. And these come with a back plate. So this is probably going to be the one thing that I'm definitely going to get for next season. Um, these seem like really good shoulder pads. I've been using Riddell for the past few years. Uh, my team uh, gives out Riddell shoulder pads at the beginning of the year for us to use. No complaints, uh, great te like great technology. It doesn't really seem um, like there's anything wrong with it. So I definitely get Riddell shoulder pads. I know there's Zenith. I know there's sharp shoulder pads. Um, Zenith is a little bit lighter, uh, not as much padding, and there's a lot more mo mobility, so you can reach your arms up a lot higher. Um, but, I, I mean, I I've always been with Riddell, so I might as well just go back to Riddell shoulder pads for next season. Um, so, yeah. And then the final thing that I have on my list is the Adidas AD, hold on, Adidas AD0 8.0 SK cleats. I will put a photo up around here somewhere. I don't even know, maybe on my face. Um, but these are the new AD zeros. So Adidas has been have been making cleats for the past few years. Um, yeah, so they the AD zero is kind of their baseline cleat. So this is like their uh, kind of simple, clean look, um, basic cleat. Uh, I've had no problems with Adidas. I've used their cleats in the past. My friends have used them a bunch. Um, so these are 8.0s. I used to use like 6.0s, no problems. They've looked like they've uh, developed on the, them a little better. Um, they definitely have the sock-like, I'll show a picture up right now. They have like a sock-like, like for your ankle i can't really explain it but you guys can see it on the screen it's like a sock it's like a sock for your ankle on the cleat okay it's a little difficult it's kind of a mouthful for me but um yeah so they are currently 63 dollars um definitely a steal right now because they're half off on adidas website and because of quarantine coronavirus all this kind of crazy stuff they are half off and it is May 9th, 2020 right now. So as of May 9th, 2020, they are half off. And um, yeah, so I would definitely recommend picking up Adidas cleats. No complaints, really light cleat. Um, they're mainly a soccer company, but they've kind of built on that um, really great uh, technology. And um, yeah, I would definitely recommend picking up a pair of those. Um, but that pretty much wraps it up. Those are basically the three things that I would really like for my next season. If you guys want to make sure I get that Speedflex helmet, you guys got to share this video because I need to get some views to get enough money for that Riddell helmet. But anyway, um, I might have a mouth guard review coming to you guys um, a little bit later, maybe next week or in a couple weeks. I always definitely have a new video coming out. I think I'm going to pick up a bunch of Adidas stuff, like cleats and like mouth guards and uh, headbands and stuff like that. Do a full, like massive unboxing kind of thing again. But football videos are back, definitely. No more lacrosse stuff. If you guys hate the lacrosse stuff, I'm sorry. But in the off season, I liked playing lacrosse. Um, so I'm definitely going back to my football videos because that's what I know you guys like. Um, so yeah, football season's back. I'm going to get some good unboxings for you guys coming up in the next few weeks. And I will see you guys in the next video. Again, my Twitch is linked in the description. But I will see you guys later. Bye.